Hey yo, and welcome. Today we are going to talk about how to make teleporters. That's right, with a couple of hypertube entrances and a quick little save edit, you can connect two of them together and travel across the map instantaneously. As a quick disclaimer though, it isn't too friendly in multiplayer for anyone other than the host, so make sure there are other options for travel. And I recognize these kinds of tricks aren't for everyone, but for someone like me who barely gets anything done during a stream anyway, it's kind of nice to not have to spend as much time running around. To do this yourself, start by placing a hypertube support. Then place the first entrance in the direction that you want to enter the teleporter from. Connect power to that entrance. Then add the second entrance on the same hypertube support, but leave this one unpowered. This is the one that we are going to move. Next, go to the location where you want your exit to the hypertube teleporter to go. We will place a hypertube support and an entrance exactly where we want it to go so we know how to position the one that we had created on the previous support. Now save your game. Now head over to the Satisfactory Calculator website. If you're unfamiliar with it, I'll put a link in the card above as well as in the description. Once there, click on the interactive map and use the button on the right side to load your save. If you're not sure where to locate your save, it's in the tooltip while you're hovering the button. Now, depending on the size of your save, it may take a while to load. But once it's loaded, I find it very useful to turn everything off except the hypertubes. Now that we can easily see our two hypertube locations, let's take a look at each of them. On the left, we have the single destination entrance. The entrance is the one shaped like the square. On the right, we have the pair of entrances. We're going to move one of these entrances to the location of the destination entrance. To do that, right-click the destination entrance and choose Update Position. Write down every one of these numbers. Once you've done that, you can delete the entrance. Before we go further, we have to know which of these entrances is the one to move. If you remember, we only connected power to the one we wanted to keep. If we enable the power lines, we can see the left one is connected. With that in mind, right click on the right one, choose update position and update all of the values to what we copied before. All that is left is to download the save back into your save folder. Once you've reloaded the downloaded save, Connect the freshly moved hypertube entrance to power and jump on in. And that's it, you've built a teleporter. If you found this helpful, hit that like button so that other pioneers might find it. And if you feel like saying hello, drop by the stream. Links in the description. We'll see you next time.